hi, this is AJ from The Handyman Process, and today I'm going to be going over the customer relationship management software known as Marquee. Uh, if you are a handyman or in any of the trades businesses where you're going to and from customers' homes, uh, Marquee is just a fantastic customer relations management software. It really keeps you in the loop. I get a lot of compliments on it from uh, the people that I work with, and it makes my life just super easy. Uh, so if you've never seen it before, you can go into the App Store, whether you're on Android or iPhone. Go in, select the Marquee app. You'll see all the details there. You can go ahead and download it. Uh, and then once you download it, okay, once you download the Marquee app, you just go ahead and open it up. Um, you're going to see my system I've been using for a while. There's a little bit of setup. Um, they have a really good help function. You can see it down here in the bottom. And if you go to the main website, a lot of good useful videos. There's some other videos on YouTube that may be helpful as well. But this is a quick look at what the system is. Uh, if you've never worked with a CRM system, it might be a little overwhelming. So maybe it's better to think about it from a process flow perspective or you know, a handyman process perspective. You have a dashboard, which is just like the dashboard on your car. If you open up the dashboard, you can see things about your business, your profit and loss statements, what kind of jobs you have uh, forecasted out, what the business is doing. Uh, this is all dependent on whether you're putting data in. Uh, I started off putting everything into Marquette, but uh, there are there's a few limitations with it from a from a communications perspective. It's great from bookkeeping. Uh, they're still doing some integration, uh, so I'm using other tools right now for most of my bookkeeping and expense tracking. Uh, however, Marquette is very proactive in their help functions and, and their customer support, so I believe they're going to be adding some more capability, which may bring me back into the dashboard. Um, but what you will be doing primarily as a handyman is you will be receiving inquiries from people who want to do business with you. You will be generating estimates based off the kind of services that they need. Um, you will then take those estimates if they are accepted. You will most likely convert them into a work order, something you can work off of. You will schedule that work order. You will go, you will complete the work. And as part of that process, uh, Marquette helps you to notify your customers that you're on your way, that you've started work, that you've completed work. Uh, and then finally, when you're all said and done, you generate an invoice. So I'll walk you through an example of kind of how that process works. Um, so I'm going to touch here on the inquiry screen, but just keep in mind that in my particular situation on my website, Greenshire Handyman, there is a form that is connected to Marquette. I, Marquette does the hard work of generating software that I just essentially embed into my website, uh, which allows my clients and my customers to go ahead and request an estimate. So somebody navigates to my website, they fill out that form, and then I'm notified. Uh, you can see the unread here of, of who's looking for work. So I will jump in here to Joe Elliott, who submitted a request for work. So inside here, it gives me details. So his name, his number, his email address, uh, what kind of work he's looking for. He's looking for somebody to help with pouring some sugar. So if you're a Def Leppard fan, you're following my theme. Uh, it gives me his address, um, contact information, how did he hear about us from Google, so on and so on. So what I would normally do once an inquiry comes in is I go ahead and I just copy the phone number here and I normally open up my Google Voice application and I'll text a customer. I understand you're looking to have some sugar poured on you, Mr. Elliot. How can I help you with that? And Mr. Elliot will come back and he'll explain, no, I wasn't really looking for that. I was looking for something else. So we'll go back and forth. Uh, we'll, we'll confirm the details. We'll probably trade a few pictures, make sure that we both understand the level of work. And I call this the informal estimate process. Uh, if he agrees with everything that we've communicated, then I reach out and say, sir, do you mind if I send you a formal estimate and set you up for scheduling? If he says yes, I come down to the bottom here and I hit these three uh, line icon on the bottom there and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create the estimate. In this particular case, I'll just say it's a standard estimate, but some customers want an estimate for each particular service, so you can use options or packages. But for simplicity's sake, I'll just hit the standard estimate button. button. And as I do that, you see all the information that came in through that inquiry is now in here. The lead's name, Joe Elliott, the location, United Kingdom Drive, uh, and then the rest of it's up for me to, to fill in. So let's say we had a conversation. Mr. Elliot told me that he wanted me to paint a wall. 
And I said, okay, Mr. Elliot, I paint walls all the time. Um, so he tells me, I want a big British flag painted on the wall because I'm from Def Leppard and I love, I love my country. Okay, great. So uh, I'm going to go ahead then, uh, since I prefer painting American flags, I'm going to charge you $1,250 for that flag. But it's going to be amazing, so please bear with me. Uh, so I put in my, my cost there. I tell him I'm going to paint the flag. And I put in all the other details. Maybe he sends me some pictures. So I would take those pictures and I would post it down in the bottom here in the attached photos area. Um, and I would say flag painting. And that would be it. I would save that. So now that estimate is saved. And now it shows, okay, here's Joe Elliott flag painting. Here's his address. Here's my charge. And I would go ahead and I'll hit the send button here and send it over to him. This window would pop up and says, okay, is this what you want to do? Yes. So in this case, it's going to email him and it's going to uh, send him a text message. Uh, once that happens, he would either concur with it or non concur with it. Uh, and then I would go from there. So let's say we go ahead and we do that. And Mr. Elliot, he went in and he accepted it. I'm going to accept it on his behalf. And this is something that you can do because sometimes people, you know, they're technophobes. They don't want to mess around with technology. Uh, so you say, okay, do you mind if I accept it on your behalf? So I accept it on his behalf. Now he's officially become a customer of mine. He's been imported into the customer list. And now I can start doing other functions with this. So now this button that I touched before has a lot more options. And the big option that I'm going to use here is I'm going to convert this to a work order. So I'm going to convert this to a work order. I'm going to hit OK. Now, either myself or somebody on my team could go ahead and start working on this. So I'm just going to save it. And you can see at the top here, there's tracking numbers. In this case, it says work order number 136. So I'm just going to hit the check box up here. And my next step is to schedule this. So let's say we've already worked out. I talked to Mr. Elliot and he wants me to come over uh, today. He wants me to come over today and do this. So roger that, sir. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the schedule and assign button. I'm going to look for a good time. Let's say two o'clock. We're going to schedule you for two o'clock. And then now he's on the calendar and we're scheduled. Now, the great thing about this is this automatically brought me into a calendar view now, but I'm going to show you what it looks like from the home screen. So if I go to my home screen and I go to the schedule button here, now I see I was working for James Hetfield this morning. I was fixing his guitar and now I'm going to head over to Joe Elliott's house and paint that flag. Uh, so I'm, gonna, I'm getting ready to leave the house. I open up that work order. And the first thing I'm going to do is just review the order. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm painting the flag for Joe. So the next thing I do is I come down here and you'll see on the bottom these buttons, arrival, start, pause, and complete. This is, this is really the magic of Marquette. So when I'm ready to head over there, let's say he's 20 minutes away. So I'm going to hit the arrival button and this little thing is going to pop up and it's going to say uh, either I'm heading your way or I'm going to be late. And you can determine which one it is. And then the text below it is automatically generated based off of the numbers you press here. So I'm going to say 20 minutes, I'm going to be there. I'm going to go ahead and hit that button. Uh, so now he knows I'm on my way over there. So let's say 20 minutes has passed by. Now I'm ready to start the work. So I come down here, I hit the start button. Here it pops up and says, you want to notify Joe that I'm about to start work. Uh, I tend not to do this um, unless I'm working for landlords that are out of town, and then I do do it. But if I'm talking right there directly to the customer, I normally uncheck this, check this button. Now the timer is start. Another great feature with Marquette is a track time. So I go about, I do my work, I paint the greatest British flag, United Kingdom flag you've ever seen. Joe is really happy. Uh, so I said, all right, sir, is there anything else you need? Are you satisfied with the work? And he says yes, and he starts trying to pour some sugar on me. But I say, no, no, please, I, uh, I, that doesn't work for me. So if we could just stick with the, the, uh, the process here, I'm going to go ahead and complete this. I'm going to close you out, Mr. Elliot. And the same thing, if he's right there, I'm going to uncheck this box. I'm just doing this from my own bookkeeping perspective. I'm going to hit the check button up here. And then now it says, great, invoice is generated and ready to be ready to view. So I hit the OK button. And the cool thing about this is now the invoice is up and is ready to go. Um, there's some legwork that you have to do to, to in, in my case, tie this into Square or some type of credit card acceptance platform. But if you're just working off cash or check, it would be as simple as saying, OK, you're going to pay by cash or check. I'm going to go ahead and hit this pay now button and I'm going to record a payment. I come in here. I'm going to say he gave me a check. 
Uh, he was so thrilled with everything. He gave me an extra three hundred and fifty dollars, which was fantastic.、Um, and then I record the transaction, and la di da, we're done.